All right guys, we've been waiting forever and Tilly is finally in labor. So hopefully we have cute little babies by the end of the day. We're all ready to go. We've got the birthing kit all ready and now we're just watching Tilly closely, watching for signs if she'll deliver soon. Right now she's all about the digging but soon she'll lay down and start to push. I really want Tilly to have three babies for once. So her first year she had two but she rejected one and then her second year she just had little Tatum. This is her third year, so we're expecting big things from Tilly. <laughs> yeah, she better big things have as in three babies. I always worry when the water breaks because I feel like they like can't breathe. Oh, they can that. because um, the, as long as the uh, cord is still attached, oh, and it is, okay. it's when they're breech and they come out. Sometimes, you know, when their butt yeah. comes out first, you got to go fast because then the cord detaches. You're doing good. Good, good. Oh, that's a good push. I know. Oh, good job. There's a little hoof right there. Okay. There's one hoof and a nose. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Just gotta okay. wait now. Huh. That seems like it's coming out perfect. Doing good. Just gotta wait for the contraction, okay? I know. I know. There's nothing out there yet. No, Not nothing yet. to lick. Nothing to lick yet. Oh, you're gonna get up okay. for a little bit. Okay. Do that. <laughs> she that's, thinks. that's not a baby. That's not a baby. That's just my hand, sweetie. Babies aren't bright blue, Tilly. No, that's not baby. There you go. Oh, goodness me. I think it's just one hoof. Oh, that's a big baby. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. That's the head. That's the head. Okay. Good job. Good job, honey. Look. Good job. Good job, Tilly baby. Good job. Little brown, white, and black baby. Oh, it's just baby. like a Winston. <laughs> yep. Sneezy sneeze. See? I think that's a girl. No way, that's a boy. Huh. Boy. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Her first boy. It's a tiny little boy, huh? Yeah, it is tiny. Just had the one foot forward. <laughs> Good job, Tilly. She's got to have two more. <laughs> Come on. You're a good licker, Tilly. You always are a good lick licker, huh? Let me get this. Good job. Oh, he is a cool tricolor. Yeah, he is cool. He looks just like Winston. He does look like Winston. Yeah. Oh, and his face has those tricolors too. It looks really cute. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's had one little boy so far and we're just waiting on her to deliver the second one or possibly a third one, we don't know. But yeah, she's such a great laborer. She just kind of pushes him out real quick, is a good mom. You're doing good, Tilly. And he is so cute. Good job, Tilly. You got it, hon. Keep going. <laughs> another boy oh <laughs> my god wow you kind of look the exact same little baby no I have less white oh, yeah okay, okay. <gasps> I knew she would have two boys oh my god. Tell me I'm well you look different so kind of tricolor but ah. well Lydia she just had two <laughs> but they really are cute, so I guess we'll have to settle. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. It's okay, we still love you. We still love you.
So our biggest challenge, or I shouldn't say challenge, but just precaution is that we got to make sure that Tilly doesn't reject one of these. Remember the first time she delivered babies she had two and she rejected one of the dolings. I'm thinking that the reason why she rejected that little doling named Hope is because she had a selenium deficiency and she couldn't really walk in the beginning. So I made sure to give Tilly a bunch of selenium monthly throughout her whole pregnancy. And then I'm also given these little babies here a little tiny dose of selenium right when they were born so that they're sure to not have any problems and everything can be good. So far she's doing great. She's nursing them, taking care of them. Are you okay? <laughs> and they're just super, super cute. Are you okay? <laughs> That's a cute little face. Oh, Lydia, they're so cute. You're doing a good job, Tilly. I don't think you can understand until you raise Nigerians how tiny these little babies are. They are just so tiny. It's so adorable. You okay? <laughs> Another thing that I did is I gave Tilly this stuff. It's called Nutri Drench. Now normally you've seen me give my goats molasses, but what I like about this one is that it has calcium and selenium and then some fat soluble vitamins here which is just going to help give her some good nutritional support right after she delivers so molasses water is good but something like nutri drench is even better you're being a really good mama tilly just licking them licking them huh you're a good licker that's one good thing about you oh my goodness you guys are so cute. And you're the little mischievous one, <laughs> I can tell. The little the little yellow-eyed one. Oh my goodness, hi. You've got some dark eyes. There's something about Tilly babies. They just have the sweetest little faces. So because these are both bucklings, we definitely aren't gonna keep any. We'll be looking for homes for them. They might be really good sires for new farms or just good pets. We could castrate them. They could be what we call weathers or just pets, but we'll see as they develop. They're gonna stay with us for a good few months and we'll just soak in all of the little baby goat cuddles that we love so much. There's just one more thing I have to do before I can let them be for the rest of the day. I've got these betadine swabs here. These are the little scissors I have to kind of cut their little umbilical cords off. If they're a little long, I don't know if they're long yet. And then I'll disinfect them to prevent infection. I know in the wild, you know, this wouldn't happen, but also babies die in the wild as well. So we want our babies to live. So I'm going to use this and rub it on their little umbilical cords and then it'll help them uh, not get an infection. Just a little trim. It's a little clean. Yeah, just a minute. Let me clean it really good. No, don't lick it off. There you go. Oh, well, yours is already pretty short, but we'll just trim it a tiny bit. All done. Wasn't scary at all. Mom will give you a kiss. There you go. They're pretty cute. This one is definitely my favorite. Sorry, but. <laughs> You've already got a favorite? I already, no, I, yeah, I, I love them so much. Don't let's forget how small they are. I know, even though we just had babies, but those babies were bigger. Yeah, these are small Nigerians. It's too soon for me to pick a favorite. <laughs> yeah. It's so cold out here. Do you need a sweater? No, they're good. Twinstons or what's the other one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What, you... <laughs> what is the other one? <laughs> I don't know. You had another phrase in your mind that we were supposed to know? There is no other one. Tilly Winston. Winley. Winley. <laughs> that yes. makes no sense. Yeah. We are done for the day and babies are all good. Tilly's good. 
She's taking care of both of them, so no problems there. I think we're good to go. I think Tilly just had a bit of a fluke that first year, but now we know she's a good mom and she can take care of multiples. If you have some name suggestions for Tilly's babies, go ahead and post them below. We're not gonna do the T thing, although we really do like the name Toby. We think that's cute. And you guys, you guys know we love the name Fergus. But uh, whatever you think, if you guys have some good ideas, go ahead and put it below and we'll do a poll in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you wanna watch the video where Tilly first gave birth, a long time ago. Click right here.